Hello guys, welcome back to the channel of me, Noel. I don't know, that was a weird intro, whatever. Anyways, I got my coffee. Mm-mm, good. Yeah, so, before I go to work, even though, can I just say, I would not mind staying home and just like looking at Shadow Hunters stuff all day. Because I just I just want to look at Malik and Sissy and Clay's and I just want to love them and I just want to be with them and a new episode was yesterday and it's like I just want to spend all day on Tumblr and Twitter and just talk about them and I'm just like I gotta go to work. Ugh. But you know, that's the struggle. Struggle's real, dude. Okay, so Shadow Hunters it, season one is coming to an end, which oh my god. Uh, mm, I'm really sad about that. Oh, that's really sad. Okay, okay. But we get a season two. Woo hoo! Yes, we got a season two. We got the season two. We got the season two, 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 two. All right. Sorry. Okay. Excuse my weirdness. Just get pumped up. You gotta be pumped up. So let's move on. Okay. So one thing I wanted to point out about this episode is how much it proved now I don't read the books I kind of want to read the books but then again I don't because I rather just watch it play out on screen instead of knowing what's gonna happen or knowing somewhat of what's gonna happen so okay first let me just say I, 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 honestly this is like the best cast ever like when I compare them to the cast from the movie I mean no hate but the cast from the movie was okay, but the cast for the show is spot on. I mean, oh my god, they are so perfect. Like, Emerald and uh, uh, Matthew, I was about to call him Alexander, Magnus, Harry, look what you made me do. Um, Matthew, is, they both are like Alec and Isabel. It's crazy, especially Matthew. He is Alec. It's like, are you playing Alec or is this really you? Oh my God. Just, uh, let, let's just take a moment of silence to worship Matthew Daddario because we need to. Okay. My heart subsided a little bit. Okay. I love you, Alec. I do. And I love Isabel. I love her. Like, she, even though she will possibly be stripped of her ruins and banished, she is still being the strong person I know she is. I love and admire her for her. I love and admire her for this reason. But, so as much as I love these two, I have to admit I'm happy Alec didn't get the cup. It's not because I want Clary to save her mom. Like, yes, of course I want that, you know. But that's not the reason I don't want them to get the cup. I don't want them to get the cup because what makes the clave deserve it? You know, it's not for the clave to have, you know. I, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's something the clave should have, but what would they do with it? Like, I'm just a little curious. Who's to say they wouldn't make an army to take down Valentine? I mean, come on, really? Like, I was super happy when... Jace got away, thank God. But oh my God, when Alec and him were doing the Bond thing, I was like, I feel the pain. I feel it. It was so sad. Like, Alec was like, he's dead to me. And I'm like, what? He's not dead to you. He's alive. Like, okay, yes, I know Clary showed up. Everything went, dis went crazy and blah, blah, blah. But to be fair, she didn't ask for this. To be fair... It's not her fault her dad is Valentine. To be fair, it's not her fault her mom had the cup or got taken by Valentine. It's not her fault. Okay, Alec? Now, Alec doesn't just dislike her because of Jace. That was, yes, partly the reason. Because Jace was so taken with her. And, of course, uh, Alec is in love with Jace. I don't know about anymore. Okay. So, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, no. I forgot. Oh, gosh, why do people call me in the middle of a video? No, but, yeah, Alec and Jace, you need to make up, okay? This ain't okay. Oh, that's what I was saying. Clary, 
yeah, at first maybe the reason he didn't like her was because uh, Jace was so taken with her, like I said. But now, but as the episodes went on, he just didn't like her because of Jace and because that their world was like turned upside down. But it's not her fault. Again, not her fault. And I want Alec and um, I always want to say Clace because you know what? I can't help it. Alec and Clary, I want them to be friends. Like, okay, in the alternate universe, Simon and Jace were bros. Like, bros, man. Where's that in the art universe? Like, I want them to be bros, man. I want a bromance between Simon and Jace. I want a bromance between Clary and Alec. I need it. I need it. Like, oh my god. Like, in the alternate universe, Clary and Alec were friends and Jace and Simon were bros and it was just so beautiful and I want that in the real world, our world. But, and Alec was happy, he was himself, he was a party planner, which was amazing, that was so cool. And then, oh my god, the roles were reversed. He saw Madness, he was attracted to him, he walked over, he said, this one's me for on me like this problems for me something like that and I was just like ah. like oh my god Alec because Alec when he first came up he like I was just like oh my god he's checking Magnus out like the roles are reversed oh my god like ooh, like and he lets him in he's like cheers to us and there were so many parallels to the alternate universe into their real world and I was just like oh. and then he's like and uh, Magnus is like, I gotta go. And Alec is like, playing hard to get. I love a challenge as he's leaving. You know, and I'm just like, oh my God, roles reversed. This is amazing. This is happening right now. I, Alec, take you, Magnus, uh, Lydia. Uh, I mean, Lydia. Yeah, Lydia. Is Lydia right? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, I'm not joking. No, but I feel like... Magnus next episode is going to take the blame for the cup being taken by Jace and Clary. I feel like maybe he's going to say, hey, Isabel didn't do anything. Because I could have swore I seen him there at the hearing. So either he's there because they know that he, he helped them or he's there because he's going to try and take the blame for Isabel. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you really can't do anything to Magnus because he's the strongest warlock. And if you like take away his powers or kill him or whatever you literally lose your biggest ally who would help you no matter what and whose help you definitely need with valentine out there like can i just say that like but what i wanted to really point out is this episode basically showed us that and like i said i didn't read the books you know so i don't know i mean i guess they are end game in the books too but still watching the show it just makes me think and i'm just loving it so in the alternate universe clary and jace are together not a big shocker right there simon and isabel are together oh god emerald i am right there with you me and you are sizzy shippers we are simon and izzy shippers till the end like i love how much she ships them like girlfriend you are my best friend we are together as one. So, okay. But, yeah, this episode, so Simon and Isabel were together. And then Malik, oh, I always say their ship name. Alec and Magnus had that kind of thing going on. And I was like, it's like basically showing you these are endgame. Even in an alternate universe, they are endgame. Although, I didn't really like that Isabel had a crush on Clary's dad. Ew. I wanted to throw up when I seen her all... Like, eh. I'm sorry, but it's true. Oh, and one last thing. Um, oh, actually, not one last thing. Jace's dad. Now, I don't know if that's really Jace's dad. If it is, I still don't trust the guy. Uh, I feel like he's only going to bring trouble. Trouble. I feel like it's part of Valentine's plan. I don't know, because Valentine was nowhere to be found, which is weird. So I'm a little mm, sketchy. I'm not, nah. I'm on to you, guy. I know what's up. I, I'm watching you. And one last thing, Lydia. I un I don't understand how people can like her. Yeah, maybe because she okay, she's doing her job is what you could say. But is she really? Is she? Like she says to follow her head, not her heart. But she even admitted in this episode that well, she basically admitted that 
by Clary and Jace and Isabel and all them stopping the clay from killing a Seely, they stopped a war about damn worlders. Oh, I said it. I've been saying it right the whole Okay. So, yeah. So, I don't see the problem. They stopped it. So, but what I'm saying is, if that was the right choice to stop it from happening because it would have been a war, then wouldn't that be something you would follow your head with? Not... I mean, because you were about to kill him, knowing it could bring out a war. So don't you think that if you knew that by them stopping it, that was a good thing? That maybe in your head, you should have been thinking that before you tried to have him killed? Can I just say that? Because it's like, lead with your head and not with your heart. But it's like, you were about to have a war between you and the Downworlders. And that's something you should be thinking with your head. Like, you should really uh, think this through. Like, this is no joke. Okay? I just can't like Lydia. I can't. No, I can't. I can't like her. It's not because she's with Alec, honestly, at all. Because I don't care about that. Because he's gay. Okay? He can kiss her. He can do whatever. But he's gay. There's not. I mean, either she's going to catch on to it. He's not. Or he's going to marry her and then be with Magnus on the side. And she's going to find out. I don't know. I feel like... She might find out that he's gay, or I feel like the wedding might be interrupted. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. But, because there apparently there's an episode titled Malik, so, hmm, I'm curious. But, yeah, I just can't like Lydia. I can't like her. I can't. I just don't like her. Oh, I don't. I simply follow the rules. Like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, you follow the rules. Like, I don't like you. Get off my screen. No hate to the actress. I just don't like your character. Lydia can go away. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, Felicia. No. But yeah, don't mess with my Isabel. Don't mess with her. Because I'll break you. Um, I just love this show so much. It's so emotional. But I just really want to say how much I love, like I know in the books they're probably endgame, but for me, not reading the books and just watching the show, seeing these people either together or possibly getting together, like uh, Alec and Magnus in this alternate universe, just made me realize how much of endgame they are. Like I, oh gosh, oh, I can't wait. Ah! Like I'm so excited for Simon and Isabel. Out of all of them, Simon and Isabel are the number one couple I want to see happen. Like, I love them. I love their scenes. I love the friendship between Alberto and Emerald. I love their chemistry. I just love it. And then Malik and then Clay's. Clay's is getting all the action, you know? And Malik, it's kind of moving forward, but moving back. And it's just like, oh, I just love it so much. <laughs> oh, madness. Oh, Alec. No. But so, yes. Sorry, guys. I get a little emotional with the Shadowhunter stuff. It's all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yes. But, um, also, yeah. Matthew Daddario said he had, like, three wishes he could, uh, give to the writers to, uh, for season two. And I was like, one, for Alec to be happy. Two, for Alec to be friends with Clary. And three, for me to be on the show. I don't care if I get killed in, like, the first five minutes. I would totally still be on the show. Like, I want to be on the show. Like, I need to be on the show. Like, it's just, it needs to happen. Like, honestly, if I become an actress, this is the show I want to be on first. Like, it needs to happen. I need to be on Shadowhunters! I could kick ass. I could fight. You know? I can do things. Maybe I could be a magical wizard. You never know. I could be, ooh, I could be evil. Mm, I would love to play an evil person. I could totally do evil. Very good. Just saying. Just saying. You never know. You never know. Dreams are possible. You just have to believe in yourself and follow your heart and go on the path that you f want to. And that will lead you to your dreams. I know. Jeezy, but it's true. Follow your dreams. Never give up on them. Definitely never give up. You never know what could happen. I, I mean, I never, who knows, maybe I could be on Shadowhunters one day. I don't know. I, right now, I'm just dreaming about it. But one day, I could actually be on it. Your dreams are possible. 
you just have to make them happen. And yeah, it doesn't happen all at once. It takes time. So if you truly have a dream that you want to make possible, then take those little steps to make it possible. Be patient. And I swear in the end, the end result will be amazing. Your dream will be fulfilled. You will be happy. I think all of us just want to be happy and our dreams to be fulfilled, whether they be a dream to be an actress or to marry a prince or to uh, help kids with cancer, whatever it may be, it is possible. You know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. I believe in you and you should believe in yourself. Just go with a positive mind. When negativity wants to come inside your head, push it out and think only positive. It's the only way you will be able to stand up straight and not let the world knock you down. That's how I've decided to live 2016. I push out the negative and push in the positive. That's the best way to go. I'm just giving you some little life advice at the end of this video. So yes, I hope you enjoyed my Shadow Hunters review. Rant view. Because I rant slash review, you know. But yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And watch Shadow Hunters. It's on Tuesday, 9 p.m. on Freeform, 199. Super sad. It's coming to an end. And I'm going to have to wait for season two. And I don't like waiting. And oh. And then if I go to Maine, I hope I have TV because I need, oh, I'm going to have to like watch it online. Oh my God. What am I going to do? No. Okay. So yes, hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. If you're watching still till the end, like, wow, thank you. Thank you a lot. Like that, that means a lot to me. Like, thank you. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Well, you know, when I probably post this, it'll be after work. So it'll be like nighttime or afternoon. So have an amazing morning, afternoon, night. What, have just an amazing day all together. All right, gotta go guys. Peace.